So part three. Part three. Here we are. We are on to part three. So part three, even though there's two beers here, there's only one of them that we haven't had. That is correct. And it is in a huge bottle. <laughs> it is a very, very large bottle of pumpkin beer. Yeah, which made me nervous at first, but at least they go with the, they've got the little recapping uh, apparatus on top. So it could, hopefully if it's good or good enough, it'll last a little bit. You should use this for when you do homebrew. That one I you could, could and use. actually they, this is something I did like. I went to their website, which we'll have a link to at aboutbeverages.com once we tell you the name of the beer. Uh, and they actually talk a lot about the reason they do this is they have a little bit of a, a green initiative where they want people to reuse these. They want to recap them. I don't know if they take them back at the brewery. Um, it'd be a far drive for us because this is in Canada. <laughs> yeah. So that would be a little bit of a distance. But, as yeah, as a home brewer, this is totally a bottle that I could reuse. Nice. So we've got that. And we've got the uh, champion of the last two years is back for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the, well, the third part of our pumpkin beer series is what we are about today. And uh, as Andrew said, we are going to be trying the Pumpkin Eater Imperial Pumpkin Ale from House Sound Brewing, which is yeah is in Canada, and then this one, well probably if you're a regular listener of us needs no introduction because it has been our champion the last two years. This is the uh, Shipyard uh, Smashed Pumpkin. Uh, it's an Imperial Ale yes. as well, right? Yeah, it's part of their Pugsley Signature Series. Yes, but they uh, they've got other ones too. They have like a Blueberry Smashed Pumpkin Smashed Beer, not Pumpkin Blueberry Smashed. Thing and and some other stuff too. So it's like the it's now is, like the Brewmaster series. Is this this year's version? Is there a this one? Yeah, I just bought this this year. So yes, this so is. So hopefully, this is, this it's is not leftover from. Yeah, I hope not. It doesn't seem like that. I never usually I can find these like most of these pumpkin beers. You can usually find them maybe into November, you know. But then kind of after that, you you don't find it, which makes sense because they're kind of a fall seasonal harvest right kind of thing. So. But uh, yeah, usually they carry over for a little while. Yeah, but this bottle was massive. So we're going to try this one first. Of course. And then we're going to try this one. And yeah. then we're going to sort of just, not sort of. And then we're going to think back upon the last couple of weeks for our listeners yeah. and viewers. Uh, when actually, it's the same day that it's we're recording this. Us, yeah, right? we're just breaking this up. And uh, we're going to pick our champion for 2014 at least of the six that we will have tried right so and uh, yeah and we kind of we mentioned in the very first one we this is almost has turned into a buying guide for our niece <laughs> does she since, since she, she references these since she does uh, all she does is drink a lot of pumpkin beers in fact i got a text from her the other day that had a picture of a pumpkin beer and okay i can't remember where it was from but I, it's not one of the ones we had it's not okay it wasn't it's the kbc because so, yeah. she has access to that because she works for trader joe's as Maybe well it was so. the KBC. i don't think i don't think it was it i was don't just a picture of a glass if she likes this one i don't well i'm not going to say anything because i'll give away too much that's right okay mm -hmm. all right let's, let's move just get on. right to this one so this one is uh eight percent alcohol yes total wine Total wine. And I forgot what it was. Was it 13? I think oh. so. Yeah, it was right around 11.99, 12.99, something, something like that. that. So. It is what? Practically, is it a double bottle? How big is this thing? One liter. Oh, wow. So, so that yeah, 33 milliliters. 33.8 ounces. They use the metric system. To us. So, yeah, that's oh, uh, it's a tough pour. Yeah. Don't hurt your shoulder. That's right. And it has a. <laughs> <laughs> I have Little Leaguer's yeah, elbow. Rotator cuff surgery <laughs> like coming up. <laughs> like Charlie Brown, Little Leaguer's elbow. The little red-haired girl's watching me. <laughs> Hopefully she's not watching Charlie Brown pour a Imperial Ale. <laughs> that would uh, be a whole new, uh, it's the Great Pumpkin Ale, Charlie Brown <laughs> episode. <laughs> that would be really good. No wonder Lucy makes so much in psychiatry fees. <laughs> Everyone's an alcoholic. All I got were spices. <laughs> I got a rock. So we've got some copper. Yeah, actually, kind of clear. Actually, kind of pumpkin pie colored. Oh, very appropriate. Yeah, <laughs> that worked out well. <laughs> yeah, definitely a little not stout colored like the last one we had in our last episode. But right. you know, it's a little darker than the previous ones that we'd had. Decent little, little actually, head retention. I guess there. a little bit back toward the uh, the very first one we had, the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, kind of back toward that color. Yeah. Although that one had that clear, and it still makes me think of whiskey. True. That one was a little whiskey <laughs> scotch looking. That's yep. true. Yeah, head retention is definitely hanging out there a little more, too. Same thing? 
Yeah. For some reason, there's something in there that screams like and like root beer cola. To me, at the end of that. you know like what it is. Okay, so okay, I, I can kind of be on that if you can accept that I smell the beginning of spices and then it goes into uh, barley wine. The sweetness of barley that wine. That kind of malty. So you're saying you're getting like the onion ring kind of thing? No, it's not the onion ring because that I usually get like in IPAs yeah, and stuff true. like that. No, it's that sweet. In a bad imperial. Hmm. I get a little like alcohol coming through in there. Like maybe that's where you're getting like the barley, like the little alcohol malty kind of coming through. That, yeah. How heavy is, is this that? fellow? It's 8%. Only 8. It's 8%. Yeah, it's only 8. We're so. seeing beer drinkers. That's like a session. <laughs> For you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right, but let's not stop there. Let's wonder if it goes into the taste. God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I get a fair amount of pumpkin in that. I get a good amount of squash coming through. The spices in that cola note kind of back down, so it's kind of sweet. It's almost like roasted pumpkin uh, with like a little bit of nutmeg and like brown sugar. Like I'm kind of getting that kind of sweet coming through. Like, you know, when you let that kind of caramelize on the top where it loses some of the high end sweetness and just kind of gets that's what I'm I'm getting out of it. And then there's a little there's a little something at the back. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it'd what that be like if is. I put the yeah, like if I roasted the pumpkin the, the pumpkin pie uh-huh. uh pumpkin and maybe like what the skin, the aroma of that flesh that not yeah. the flesh, but the skin would give off. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, kinda a little bit of that where you it get definitely more tastes of, better than it smells. I will give it that. Um, Maybe it needs time to breathe. Maybe we'll let this one sit as we go to the yeah, next one okay. too. That's interesting. That's good. I like that idea. All right, let's let's move on from that then for the moment. We're gonna move on. All right, we're gonna move on because they're because uh, body wise, I like it. Yeah, um, I think it's kind of it's a nice. It's not uh, there's a little viscosity, a little oiliness. Yeah, to it. it's not and like, like or creamy in any way, but there's a little viscosity yeah, to it. I like which that part I of it. I think is what the pumpkin brings when you really right. when you really use it, which I am getting in on that. And this one flavor. actually uses pumpkin. Yes. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. So maybe yeah. it's this that, one. Maybe there's uses, a lot of the sugar pie pumpkin or a sweet pumpkin. I, oh, I should. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one actually is specific to saying roasted pumpkin. Okay. Like it's not even just. You so know. then that would bring out more of the sugars. Yes. So then that could be why I'm picking up on like a barley wine kind of sweetness. Maybe toward well, it. I don't know if that would. I mean, because we the, use roasted pumpkin in ours, our homebrew one. We yeah, but then roast that with spices and things. Or yeah. You use it then in the mash. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyway, all right. Let's think about that one a bit. <laughs> let's think about it a bit. <laughs> if not, that's fine. Uh, so we are going to move on to the Shipyard Pugsley Signature Series pum- Smashed Pumpkin. The winner uh, of our it uh, it was close, but I believe in 2012 it uh, went up against the uh, pumpkin, right? Correct. Yeah, from Dogfish. From Dogfish. Yeah, which, which is, I that is still a great pumpkin. Still beer. very good. It, yeah. it has not been our favorite as of late, but Keith actually had a great suggestion. We may do this you know on another year or something like that bring back some of the ones that we've liked over previous years and try them all together again yeah and see if you know because you try as you might but beers are not always going to come out a hundred percent the same every year right. so who knows yeah who knows what may happen who knows maybe maybe this one will be like oh my gosh how oh, did man. we like this one for two oh years what you do to yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm cliff just, yeah <laughs> his i think his name was cliff clavin <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm Cliff Clavin. Oh my God! What you do to yourself? What you do to yourself? <laughs> Joel like that reference. <laughs> you're, you're thinking of Cliff Clements. Yeah, you've never looked any better. You've than never this. looked that good. Oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> but this one has uh, been a favorite. Nine percent alcohol. Uh, Nine ninety nine at uh, at Total Wine. Uh, Ten ninety nine at Bevmo. I saw that one's a little bit more there. Okay. I've even seen this one at Cost Plus World Market. I've bought it there too. Oh yeah, I think so, I've seen it there like, too. So this one is usually not difficult to find. Is definitely more of a premium, right? So you know, be warned on on that front. There's some clear oh, that is, copper orange is, action there. Yeah, clear copper orange, light carbonation again. But even what's there though, just from that pour that's hanging around, mm-hmm. at least on mine a little bit more. Maybe you didn't give. I think you poured mine first. Oh, okay, it wasn't so. quite as vigorous. Yes. Definitely getting that. The uh, baked pumpkin coming through there. Yeah, that's what I, I remember always liking about this one. They, they're they really measured with their spices. There is a little bit in there. I almost could use a touch more. It's not, you know, uh, you know, but the, what hits you actually first is the pumpkin. Right. There's a roasted pumpkin vegetable, you know, like I said, that really comes through nicely. And then there's just that little dancing of spice, a little sweet, little nutmeg, little, you know, like I said, Maybe even maybe even a little wisp of clove, not too much. You know, a wisp of clove. A wisp. 
wisp. And that's, how, wisp. And that's we, what you should have with clove. <laughs> I know. A wisp. You can overdo clove so quickly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, would ju- I just really like that aroma. Is it? A little, and there's a little hops. I like I said, I don't know if. Is it in the Roma that we usually get some? Because we always feel like when we drink this one, it's. Well, like, we haven't drank it yet, though. Okay. Should we just go when to the drink? Do you yeah, want to talk yeah, about it all at once? Yeah, okay. let's do that. Let's go to the taste. Okay, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're looking I for. I was right? wondering where um, the. Because we always feel when we have this one, and I couldn't remember if, if it's in the aroma as well, we always feel like we get crust, we get spice. Yeah. We get pumpkin. Yeah. We get everything, yeah. and and I didn't get that in the aroma. All you I didn't get all. Yeah, you got spice. a couple of those components. Yeah. But not, yeah. No, the flavor is then where this, this is one where it's like, oh my expectations are good here, and then like the flavor, like oh my yeah. word, you know, like I said, it just comes through with the buttery, is in there again. A little light vanilla note is in there. The spices are still about that same level. Very, you know, very light. The pumpkin comes through. Yeah. Like that one's just. Mm. Just love, just love that beer. Like I said, and with every sip, unlike some of the other ones we had too, this is going to just turn into the conversation. I think is just <laughs> where we're going to go, or at least the way I'm going to go with it. On some of the other ones we had too, where it just turns into like they almost changed with different sips, or we got different components. This one just kind of layers in a great way. Yeah. Like it gets, now on the next ooh, sip, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm getting a little more yeah. of that crust. Like I said, on the first, you know, the very first sip of it, if you only had one sip of this beer, you might be like. Oh, okay, I get a little bit, but then with every sip, it just kind of adds a little bit and a little yeah. bit more, and then it's just—it's like it kind of awakens the rest of your palate. Like, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I would definitely would would say that. I forget if they mention on here. I'll I'll look while you're uh, tasting again. Um, okay, they don't. I was gonna say I'm getting for some reason this year. It seems like I'm getting a little more of like a a hop or some sort of other component coming through. But I, I don't see them really talking about that, so that might just be maybe something. on the at the end, the little bit of yeah. sour, a little bit of bitter, maybe. Yeah, a very light bitterness, and there's a little something floral at the end that yeah that doesn't seem like the other. So, but like, but yeah, yeah, that one just we'll always go just back comes and to really compare, nice. But yeah, yeah, we'll have to look at some of our previous notes, or you can as well if you head on to the website. Should we see if this is decanted enough? Yeah, actually, let's go things. back quick here. Let's go back to this and. Uh, Check this one out. We'll go back to the pumpkin eater for a minute here, and then we will do a final conversation on on all of these beers. Yeah, that the, there's just something in there that's either sweet or I mean, either too sweet, gone to the barley wine style, maybe. So maybe the maybe it's the type of malt. Um, uh, it's just something in there to me that just does not just uh, something that hits just your yeah it, there's your something that in that that triggers a, a memory and that's and a honestly a lot of that a lot of these a lot of taste a lot of aroma is that you and that's how we when we teach people how to taste and i know with coffee and we've had this discussion before okay when you try this or with any beverage what does this remind you of to com, you know to right try to tie it to something that you are familiar with and let's go from there and then we can help you discover what that is or other you know and we've had people help us discover what that is so very much but there's so. something in there that just ties to m- something that i'm not a fan of well i guess we'll move on to the <laughs> so let's so we'll move on to the uh kind of just we're just going to go through the other ones here so this one obviously not your favorite definitely not i my honestly favorite. like I said so i'm this is it's it's kind of rare where we're super divergent right i'm not saying this is my favorite beer i've ever had I'm not getting as I'm not getting a lot of that. I am getting a lot more pumpkin in this one, which to me is kind of nice. It's still not my favorite, so I, I, I appreciate their efforts there on, on that end. Like I said, I like, like I said, especially in the taste. There's definitely, and I think in the body, which you even mentioned, there's some of that coming yes, through. Yes, I can respect that, which I which I appreciate. I think that they do need a little more complexity in that one, but but I I do I like I said I, I did like it. Um, what did you think of some of the other ones that we had, like in the last couple of weeks? So we had the Magic Hat and the KBC. My favorite would be of, of the new ones is uh, the Magic Hat. Okay. Uh, I like that little bit of heat. Uh, I like the uh, the. I think there was more than the aroma, right? Than, yeah. Than we, there was in the taste. Yeah. We didn't yeah. get quite as much, but there was a little bit of heat. Uh, there was a little bit of a of a sour or a bitter kind of bite at the end. Mm-hmm. And yeah, definitely. Overall, just from the pour, which I really I really like that color, and I know that's weird. I don't judge it solely on that, but that's part of it. It's one part of your senses. And, and I that I, I like that everything. color. I liked. Um, to me, that was the most. 
um, of the new ones, that was the most well representative well of a pumpkin beer. Yeah, because yeah, I, the oh, go ahead. Uh, no, I was gonna. I was just gonna agree with you. Like, I like what they did in incorporating, still making it a lot of it still being a beer, but bringing pumpkin into the fold. Right. I think it could have used a little more. I mean, sounds dumb. I think it could use a little more pumpkin. Right. You know, but right. overall, I would agree with you. Like I said, I like that there's still a hot bitterness at the back, so you're still right. reminded, hey, this is a beer. Uh, it's not, you know, something else. And I did, like I said, yeah, it, that one just needed a little more depth. I yes. Think. Yeah. But over, but I would, yeah, I would agree with you. That, I would probably say that one and then the uh, stout from from southern tier was probably my next favorite of, and I, of, the, of the new ones and i, I like that one. stout but i don't think the the southern tier to me neither one of them particularly screamed pumpkin beers no they, they were they yeah. they were like flavored beers or or beers they were beers with flavor and i liked the kind of that we made the rogue i made the rogue hazelnut reference yeah hazelnut and I, beer right and i like liked where it's like you're gonna that that flavor that vanilla nut or whatever we're gonna call it vanilla nut maker yeah, no, I, I liked that with the stout as uh, but i but i don't necessarily would i wouldn't necessarily say oh this is a great pumpkin beer that would have been your comment from earlier about the were you trying? Were you to do trying to? Yeah, beer? yeah. Uh, <laughs> I maybe like a little that. more. I thought that was a, a great. Way to well, put that. and that was, and that, and that goes back to the sweet. So that that was the KBC beer, which I like. We like the oh, cinnamon and true. the sugar. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. But once again, I don't consider that pumpkin. Um, no, and that, so. yeah, that one was just a little more light and spicy. So yeah, what we're saying is, is that we have a Bulls three peat. Is that what? We're oh, here? He's, of the of the six that we had. Yeah. To me, hands down, that's the best. Yep. But. That's quite true. And I know this, and especially for me not being the pumpkin beer fan, I think for the next one, I'll, bu- I'll buy the next one, and I think we need to do a, a comparison. I think we need to take the, the pumpkin from Dogfish. I okay. think we need to do this. Um, shipyard. shipyard. Uh, the, the original Shipyard was a, a winner just kind of by default. Or maybe just take the, the two. I don't know. I, I, maybe just go back to those two, because I, 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 I didn't drink the pumpkin at all last year, the pumpkin. From, from dogfish. dogfish, I bought a six pack or four so, pack, whatever that's. Is it a six four. pack? I think four. It's a four. Okay, I always buy one of those every year. I like it because that one definitely. That one has the neat brown sugar component, molasses right. kind of thing that I like. So it's almost like a really rich pumpkin pie. Um, I think the only thing and, that and doesn't this, have is the crust component, which this has. Yeah, that was kind of what it added because their their spice blend is amazing. The pumpkin part of it, you get that in the nice body. I really like. It's almost like a really hefty like brown ale. It's kind of almost what they've done with yeah. that pumpkin beer, and I think it works really well. And yeah, this this one just always just keeps having that, even though it's a little bit lighter. Like I said, the alcohol adds a little bit of nice warmth to it, which yeah. is especially when it does get cold in Arizona. That's a nice thing. Like I said, that's kind of a nice thing where you can just picture like sitting outside on a cool evening, enjoying right. that. All those other flavors, just, they just make they scream out for me wanting to have a stew or something like that. You know what I mean? Like what's in this? Yeah. I want to have like some of those hearty flavors, and I just think that goes so well with that. So yep. once again, the uh, Smash Pumpkin has for 2014 won the uh, com Pumpkin Beer Challenge, and uh, you can find tasting notes on all of these beers that we've had, as well as if you look in the archives. Gosh, we've probably tried like ten or eleven different pumpkin beers now, or maybe more. I would bet it's yeah close. And and if there's something out there that we should be trying, yeah. Because honestly, we're sort of running out of ideas, and we, we, we look for <laughs> things every year. Uh, but let us know, so make a suggestion, yeah. send us an email, send us a you know a Twitter comment, anywhere. Do 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 something. Let us know what else we should be trying because we'll be happy to do that. Well, I'll be happy to do. You'll it. be you'll happy. Do, you'll do it begrudgingly. I will grudgingly go along, but <laughs> it always it makes for good uh, entertainment and good podcasting fun. So Thank I'll you. I'll be there. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>